You've plugged your Raspberry Pi in, but all you have is a black screen. The power lights are on, but there's nothing happening. Nothing is booting. This is what I did to solve the problem. Okay, I'm going to show you what it did. You can see that it's, it, it's booting there now, right? Okay. All right, so if we like have a look here, let's, uh, let's put that out a bit. This bit, this bit, you see where the card is? This is where the SD card goes in and this bit over the top. You can pull this up. Don't pull it off, just put it up and it seems to reset it. Whether it's actually resetting it or not, I don't know. I haven't checked it out. But if you pull this up and then push it back in again and then switch the power back on, suddenly, hey presto, noobs, begins. Now it's started, I might as well show you the rest of it, how to set it up. All right, so th this is kind of difficult to, to, to record because I can't use a, um, a, a regular screenshot. So you're just going to have to bear with me. All right, so you see these... Uh, so you see these choices that you've got and you can you can see up here that uh, I've gone for for Raspbian okay uh, which is the recommended one and then you get this box come up if you have like the newbies thing there and it's going on and on and on just try clicking on this and see what happens that's what I did and then I got this so I'm going to click on this yes and see what happens okay can you see the yes this box here if this seems to go on and on forever and it, it it doesn't seem to be doing anything don't worry just go straight to uh whichever operating system it is that you want to install and select it in in the box here just check the box and then move on to this and it should be fine and then you'll get the uh, confirmation box and you press yes and you continue Okay, that's what I was trying to say. Now we're getting the progress bar. We're going to see what happens in a while when this is done. All right, so here you you can see you can see that it's it's progressing, but it's progressing very slowly. Um, if we look at the board here, you can see that the lights are beginning to flash. And if you look around the side, you can see that the Ethernet cable light is on and starting to flash. If I can get it into shot, there it is. Okay, so it is now working. It has now gone from something that wasn't working to something that what is working. <laughs> right, let's just go back to this. Okay, this here, this plastic bit, see, this is the SD card where it's the micro slides in there this bit you can pull this bit up and then push it back in again and then you turn the power back on and it's it, it worked that's what worked for me and i'm going to check that out and see if this is some kind of reset here okay now we're being being given a list of options um so there's the usual kind of stuff like you know um change the user password enable to boot a desktop scratch etc you know so you choose you choose your options let's put that out a bit you choose your options select the advanced options and then make sure you update to the latest version of this tool and then move on to the next stage so once this is done you can just uh, tab to get to finish and then press enter now type reboot and wait for it to reboot after rebooting you should be into the desktop and then you can see the icons, uh, you can see the uh, toolbar, um, you can see that there's a, a Python.
there's Scratch, there's some Python games, uh, that's a web browser. You can shut down there. Um, there's, I don't know what that is, I haven't checked it out yet. Um, and uh, Pi Store is no longer there. It's worth noting that it, it's, uh, it is no more. Okay, so I, I hope this uh, video has been useful. I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you enjoy your Raspberry Pi. Let me know if you have any problems. Leave a comment below, and please like and subscribe. Bye for now.